Hello students now we will read chapter 7 science and technology of history class 9th maharashtra board so let's start in this chapter we shall study india's achievements in the areas of science and technology also we are going to learn about the important institutions in the areas of science and technology and their contribution indian atomic energy commission India's first prime minister Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru wanted to nurture a scientific temper and bring about the nation's progress from this perspective he set up the Indian Atomic Energy Commission on 10th August 1948 Dr Homi Baba Dr Homi Baba was appointed as the first chairman of the commission the objectives of the commission were to produce electricity from atomic energy increase the yield of food grains and make them last longer set up the technology for achieving this and develop nanotechnology in 1956 the department of atomic energy set up apsara a nuclear reactor functioning on atomic energy In 1969 an atomic power station was set up at Tarapur a reactor research center was set up at Kalapakkam in Tamil Nadu to successfully use thorium for generating atomic power the role of reactors is important in developing atomic power factories manufacturing the heavy water needed for the generation of atomic power were set up at vadodara talchar tutikorin kota etc an institution called heavy water projects was set up to carry out research in manufacturing heavy water within the country it was later renamed heavy water board let's find out 20th february is celebrated all over the country as science day what activities do you run in your school on this day druva nuclear reactor in 1985 a completely indian made nuclear reactor called druva was started at trombe near mumbai the druva nuclear reactor uses uranium as fuel At this center 350 radioactive substances are produced they are used in industry agriculture and medicine Nuclear Power Corporation of India Limited NPCIL this company was set up in 1987 to generate electricity from atomic energy the objective of the company is to master and develop the technology to generate safe cheap and environmentally profitable power and make the country self sufficient nuclear tests first nuclear test at pokhran india successfully performed her first nuclear test at pokhran in rajasthan on 18th may 1974 in consonance with the policy of using nuclear er- nuclear energy for peaceful purposes this is the picture of dr homi setna and for self sufficiency the reason why india took this decision was china's nuclear capability and pakistan's desperate efforts to acquire nuclear weapons with china's help dr raja ramana dr homi setna the chairman of the indian atomic energy commission and dr raja ramana director of the baba atomic research center played a major role in conducting this nuclear test prime minister indira gandhi took the decision of carrying out a nuclear explosion pokhran was chosen on the basis of the required criteria for the location of the nuclear test 
far away from human settlement and no groundwater reserves do you know in 1974 when india carried out her first nuclear test at pokhran the usa refused to get refused to give india the technology for defense related fields such as space research communications and missile development as a result india adopted a policy of developing its own missile development program without depending on the usa thus india joined the rank of nations like the usa the ussr france china and germany who had their own missile programs second nuclear test on 11th may 1998 india carried out its second nuclear test to prove its nuclear preparedness three tests were done on this day one of them was of hydrogen bomb prime minister atal bihari vajpayee assured that there would be no first use of nuclear weapon weapons by india but the usa imposed economic sanctions on india immediately missile development prithvi in 1988 india successfully tested the missile prithvi and in 1989 the missile agni the entire world took note of india's program of developing nu- nuclear missiles indigenously this is the pho- uh, photograph or we can say picture of dr apj abdul kalam integrated guided missile development program igmdp was conceived by and carried out under the leadership of dr abj abdul kalam defense research and development organization drdo undertook the task of building the missiles prithvi 1 a surface to surface ballistic missile was given to the army prithvi 2 was given to the air force while prithvi 3 was given to the navy prithvi had the capacity to carry nuclear weapons of 500 to 1000 kg prithvi could travel a distance of 150 to 300 km due to the nuclear ballistic missile do you know in 1958 defense research and development organization drdo was established under the department of defense of the government of india the objective of this organization was to make india self sufficient with the with respect to means equipment and weapons required for defense after 1983 this organization developed several missiles under the leadership of dr apj abdul kalam dr kalam has made a great contribution in the production of missiles dr kalam is known as the father of india's missile program he is also referred to as the missile man of india agni in order that china and pakistan get an idea of india's missile strength and india's borders remain secure agni 1 was tested this military missile had a range of 700 km later agni 2 and agni 3 were also produced akash and nag missiles in 1990 the missile akash was developed to fire from land to air this missile has a capacity to carry 720 km uh, sorry 720 kg explosives at supersonic speed and a range of 30 km the missile nag was made in order to destroy the tanks of the enemy it is of the fire and forget type india has military became secure due to the production of missiles space research in 1961 india national committee for space research i ncsr launched india's first research rocket from thumba equatorial launch center in thumba in the state of kerala 
In 1969, our indigenously built rocket Rohini 75 was successfully launched. The next stage was the successful launch of the first Indian satellite Aryabhatta in 1975 with help from the Soviet Russia. This success proved that Indian scientists can indigenously build and launch a satellite. Indian scientists were confident that they could acquire the technology for sending a message from the earth station and to access the working of the satellite. Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO. After the success of the basic program in space research and rocket related project, Indian Space Research Organization was established on 15th August 1969 in order to carry our uh, in order to carry out further space research the headquarters of isro are at bangalore isro activated the space station at sri harikota in andhra pradesh for launching our satellites in space bhaskar 1 india launched remote sensing experimental satellite bhaskar 1 from the soviet russia in 1979 in order to observe various things on the surface of the earth by remote sensing technology this remote sensing technology would be useful for india's development by regarding water bodies mineral deposits and forecasting weather the photographs taken with the help of this technology about the bowels of the earth environment and forests were important Another area in which the information from this satellite was useful was oceanography. In 1981, Bhaskar 2 was launched from Soviet Russia. APPLE Ariane Passenger Payload Experiment the first completely indigenously built satellite by isro in india apple was launched on 19 june 1981 from the french guyana apple was beneficial in the field of education the objective of providing emergency telecommunication services was successful indian national satellite insat In August 1983 the satellite Insat 1B was launched in space because of this satellite a major revolution came about in the areas of telecommunication television radio weather forecasting and space research in India due to Insat 207 Akashvani or radio stations could be connected to each other this mechanism was also useful for search and rescue of people caught in some disaster like shipwreck or an airplane crash for forecasting weather to look for and follow cyclones or storms in the fields of telemedicine and educational institutions the telemedicine service enabled the population from remote areas to get advice and treatment from expert doctors public primary health centers in villages are villages have been connected with super speciality hospitals through insat technological progress a factory manufacturing railway engines chitranjan locomotive works was set up at chitranjan in barwa Bardwan district in West Bengal steam engines electric engines and engines running on diesel were manufactured here the first diesel engine was manufactured at the diesel locomotive works at Varanasi India started exporting railway engines to Sri Lanka Sri Lanka Bangladesh Tanzania and Vietnam telex service The Department of Telecommunications under the Ministry of Communications started telex service in 1963 to transmit typed messages from one part of the country to another rapidly. 
in 1969 the telex service started in devanagari script in delhi later it spread all over the country this service began to be used in different fields with the rise of internet after 1990 the significance of this service reduced satellite communication center in order to establish satellite communication with the help of an artificial satellite a domestic satellite communication earth station was established in 1967 at jodhpur tekra near amdavad this made it easy to train scientists and technicians in setting up and running an earth station within the country in 1970 a center was established at rv near pune equipped for international telecommunication service pin code from 15th august 1972 the post and telegraph department started the six digit pin code system in the country the postal index code is intended to bring efficiency in distributing distributing the mail in this system the country was divided into nine regions the first digit of the pin indicates the region the second digit indicates the sub region the third digit shows the main disbursement district while the remain, remaining three digits show the location of the local post office for maharashtra 40 41 42 43 44 44 are the first two digits in 1986 the speed post service was started to send postage rapidly international subscriber dialing telephone service isd in 1972 overseas communication service was established in mumbai for the management of international telecommunication service in 1976 the international subscriber dial telephone service was started to connect mumbai and london directly on phone alongside the phone telephone service services like telex teleprinter and radio images were started in 1986 videsh sanchar nigam nigam limited took a big leap in this field before that mahanagar telephone nigam limited mtnl was a public sector company for giving telephone service in big cities in the 1990s videsh sanchar nigam limited held the distinction of being the main internet service provider in india the contribution of sam pitroda in this field of significant mobile on 22nd august 1994 the mobile phone service started in india at this time a mobile handset cost 45000 and calling was rupees 17 per minute by 1990 many private companies came in the in this field this made the service cheaper let's discuss find out about the various changes that have taken place in mobile phone technology discuss its advantages and disadvantages bharat sanchar nigam limited bsnl in 2000 the telecommunication department was restructured the responsibility to make policy decision decisions was retained with the telecom department and bharat sanchar nigam limited was established to actually provide the services to consumers along with the telephone service caller phone internet broadband services were also made available oil and natural gas commission ongc in 1956 the oil and natural gas commission was established to search for the deposits of mineral oil and natural gas and to increase their production after digboy in assam mineral oil deposits were found in ankaleshwar area in gujarat later mineral oil and natural gas deposits were found in the gulf of kambath in gujarat in 1974 the oil and natural gas commission started digging an oil well in bombay high 
area with the help of Russian scientists by drill ship called Sagar Samrat. From 1975, mineral oil and natural gas began to be extracted from there. Later, more than 8,500 oil wells and 33 natural gas wells dug eventually in this area began to contribute 38% of the total mineral oil production in the country and met 14% of the country's demand for crude oil. Railways and Technology The technology adopted by railways has a big role in the history of modern India. Do you know E. Sridharan is famous by the nickname as Metroman? Metro Man. His work regarding Delhi Metro and Konkan Railway is noteworthy. Konkan Railway. Konkan Railway started in 1998. There are several records of technology to the credit of Konkan Railway, which stretches over the four states of Maharashtra, Goa, Karnataka, and Kerala over a distance of 760 kilometers. There are 12 tunnels on this track. The 6.5 km tunnel at Karbude is the longest tunnel. There are 179 big and 1819 small bridges on this track. Out of these, the 2065.8 meter long bridge on river Saravati near Honavar is the biggest. The 64 meter tall bridge on river Panwal near Ratnagiri, Ratnagiri in, is India's tallest bridge. For avoiding accidents on tracks that are prone to landslides, there are sensors fitted to the railway engines. In order to bring efficiency, accuracy, and coordination in the reservation system in rail travel, computerized reservation system was started for the first time in Delhi in 1984. In the same year, the metro was started in Kolkata. In this way, India has been making progress in the fields of science and technology. New inventions have been made. India is an important 21st century nation which has always used technologies, technology for establishing peace in the world. India is making all these advancements in order to be foremost among nations in the 21st century. In the next chapter, we shall learn about the progress in progress India has made in the fields of commerce and trade. Exercises we will do in a separate session. Thank you.